And still on the judgment empowering INEC to deregister political parties, we have the national chairman and the presidential candidate of the liberation movement in 2019 election. The party was one of the parties that were deregistered in February. Dr. Chris David joins us via phone. Thank you, Dr. Chris, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, you heard a few things um, Mr. Festus Okoye did say there when he was speaking earlier. And the feelers out there in, in the public suggest that Nigerians are in sync with the court pronouncement saying these parties only make up numbers and not necessarily out to win elections. Your reaction, please. Okay, I would like us to put this conversation in context. Okay. Number one, whatever judgment that is being delivered in a court depends on what is before the court. So it depends on the prayers that the, the plaintiff or the people that went to court to ask the, the court to either interpret or deliver a judgment in their favor. Now, Nobody is saying that INEC does not have the power to register and deregister party. That is in the Constitution. That is very clear. But in evaluating the process of deregistering a party, we presume or we expect INEC to also assess the poli each political party based on their merits. And in this case, I am going to speak for my party. And our position is that liberation movement has not participated in the electoral cycle for 2019. That has not concluded because we still have some states, for instance, the Edo states, the Ondo state, and even Anambra state elections that we have not participated. And the registering the party is you are carrying out um, an injustice to the party. Now, the second thing is that at what point in time will it be deemed that an elect uh, election has been concluded? A case in point is the Bayasa case, Bayasa governorship elections, which we participated, and we are still in court. How can you deregister a political party that is still challenging the outcome of an election? So these are some of the issues that are on ground that we feel that INEC do not do a thorough job by just using a single brush to paint all the parties. Liberation Movement was registered on the 14th of August, 2018. We were given our certificate on the 16th of 20, uh, August 2018, and the commencement of the 2019 elections was on the 18th of this August. So we had six months to prepare and run for the elections, which, now, which we now, did. Dr. Chris, let me, let me interject and, there. Your, your party, is, Dr. Chris, your party deliberation movement is affected by this judgment by extension. What's your next plan? Is it to join one of the perceived mega parties or continue to seek legal redress? Yes, it's my, my party is not affected by the judgment because we are also in court and we have our peculiar reasons for challenging this election. I just said, we are still in court in Bayasa election. How can you deregister a party that is still in court? So what exactly are your plans now? Will your party merge with another party, or what exactly? We need to know what your plan is. I said we are still in court. We are okay. still in court. All we right. We are still in court, and I, I think by this month, 15th of this month, the case will be coming up. All right, so you cannot, you cannot use uh, the case of one party and apply it to the other. We are, we are distinct entities. And we have our peculiar reasons and points of difference. So if hope or the other the other parties have gone to court or they have gotten judgment, went on the grounds of interpreting that section, and the judgment turned out against them, that that is that is their own case. But I'm saying that we have valid grounds not to be deregistered. Nobody is saying that. INEC does not have the power 
to the register. That is, that is clear in the constitution. All right, Dr. But Chris, we, we, have, we, have to let you, we have to let you go in now, an Dr. Election, Chris. It's been a pleasure having you join us on the news this morning. Thank you very much, Dr. Chris.